Now, for some bizarre reason, IK Multimedia's plugins, at least specifically the plugins that I own, so that includes Sample Tank 2, Sample Moog, Sonic Synth 2, Miroslav Philharmonic, and also Sample Tron. For some strange reason, if you yourself have installed one of these plugins recently, you may have been presented with something like this. Speaking with IK Multimedia directly, there is a permission related issue with not only FL Studio, but also the IK Multimedia plugins. This is the only manufacturer I've come across where I've experienced this problem. So personally, I think this is to do with IK Multimedia and how they've implemented their plugins. But the workaround that they've given me, which I'll be showing you in this video, is to actually run FL Studio as an administrator. It's not a perfect workaround because you may forget to run FL Studio as an administrator, so it's a bit of a pain, but at least you can get the plugins working you've actually paid for. And if I'm honest, I can't see this changing, so, so the sooner you get used to it, I suppose, the better. And that includes myself because, like I, as I mentioned previously, I've purchased these plugins and I want to use them because I think they've got really cool sounds. So once you've closed FL Studio, if you happen to have the FL Studio icon saved in the toolbar on Windows, which I do, you can right click it, right click again and hit run as administrator. Alternatively, you can go to the central folder where FL Studio is installed and you can send the EXE to the desktop or you can run it from there. But either way, if you right click on the EXE to open the plugin and click run as administrator, Then from there, if I open Sonic Synth 2 again, so if I quickly play any presets, so just to recap, so long as you run FL Studio as an administrator, you'll be able to load all of IK Multimedia's plugins within FL Studio. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos on my channel.